Good morning, wrestling fans. Happy WrestleMania Sunday, everyone. Tonight is night two of WrestleMania 39. And let's get started right into it with last night was great night one of WrestleMania. So hopefully the momentum will keep going. I really hope that night two will be able to be just as good or maybe even better than night one. But we will just have to wait and see till tonight. Here in Taylor, Michigan, it's a nice sunny day for the holiday known as WrestleMania. Hope everyone, all of us pro wrestling fans are having a great safe weekend as we celebrate. Also, not only WrestleMania Sunday night two tonight, but also I want to say 3 p.m. Eastern, I believe, is the Independent Wrestling Hall of Fame. And that is available on Fight Plus on the Fight TV app. Once again, if you definitely need to check out Fight Plus, it's $7.99 a month, especially for this month. You get all the shows of Game Changer Wrestling, the collective included. That is a great deal. Plus all the other independent shows that are on Fight, that are available on Fight Plus. You can watch those anytime. And if you missed any of the GCW shows this weekend live, you can check them out on demand anytime. And the Independent Wrestling Hall of Fame, Christopher Daniels, Jimmy Jacobs, Excalibur going in. Sorry about that. Lost my train of thought for a second. And cheerleader Melissa, also known as Alyssa Flash. Raisha Saeed going into the Independent Wrestling Hall of Fame. So it should be very good. I'm hoping that I'll be able to get home in time and not miss too much of it to watch. And then on to WrestleMania Night 2. We have the kickoff again starting at 6 p.m. Eastern and then the main show Wrestlemania 39 night 2 starts off with or I don't know if this is going to be the first match or not but triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship Gusner defending against Sheamus and Drew McIntyre this one, I think Guthner is going to retain. I think it's going to be where McIntyre and Sheamus are going at it, focusing on each other. And then Guthner is going to sneak in and get the pin on one of them. And retain the Intercontinental Championship. The Women's WrestleMania Showcase match also and also the battle of the big men the beast versus the giant Omas and this one I'm guessing is going to be kept very short don't see it going I'd say definitely less than 10 minutes. Hopefully, maybe even more around the five minute mark. But definitely, I'm sure there's going to be the big spot of Brock Lesnar getting.
getting all messed up for the F5. I think Lesnar's going to get the win here. Like I said, it's mostly built around that big spot of him getting the F5 on Omos. But like I said, this match should probably be kept short. And the Raw Women's Championship is on the line. The Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair defending against Asuka. I think this will be a very good match between these two. And if I had to pick a winner, it's kind of tough. But I'm actually going to go with... uh, Tough to say, but... I'd say... Asuka winning, but Bianca Belair showing some sportsmanship after shaking her hand to show some respect. But, like I said, that was a tough uh, decision to make. I'm sure it'll be a really good match between these two, though. Edge versus Finn Balor, hell in a cell. I... Part of me kind of thinks that Edge should put Finn Balor over, let him get this one, but I kind of think if I had to make one pick and just pick one of them to win, I'd have to say probably Edge because it's just talked about recently that his in-ring days might be over. So, they might have him win this one in case he does decide to retire again. But, all the difference is this time it would be on his terms. And, like he said... He has said before that he would like to, his last show, I think, to be the Toronto show later this year. But I kind of think that Edge is going to get it to end the feud with Edge and the Judgment Day. But I could be wrong. They could let Finn Balor defeat Edge and go over. In the main event of WrestleMania Sunday, the grand finale for the WWE Undisputed Universal Championship, the Tribal Chief, the head of the table, Roman Reigns, defending against the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. And for a prediction, I have to say that I kind of think it's going to be Roman Reigns going over. Not quite sure why, but I just have a feeling that they're going to let this reign go even longer with the title. I know it kind of makes sense. Cody Rhodes, he's been back in WWE for a year now and then had that injury. And so it would be a good story. Like he says, finish the story to have him defeat Roman tonight and become the new Universal Champion. And I wouldn't be surprised if he does. If they do put the title on Cody Rhodes tonight. But... I, part of me kind of feels that they might have Roman retain, but I'm, I am picking Roman Reigns, but not by very much, though. I, it's close, just like the women's Raw Championship is kind of undecided, but if I had to pick one, 
I'd probably go with Roman Reigns tonight in case you missed it. The Rock posted on his social media last night talking about WrestleMania, congratulating all the superstars that were a part of it, especially his daughter who made her televised in ring debut on NXT Stand and Deliver yesterday. And in the video, he kind of made a tease about with Roman Reigns, the bloodline, his family, maybe seeing them soon. So, and I saw online people saying that he was teasing, confronting Roman Reigns soon. Who knows? Maybe he'll appear either tonight or tomorrow's Raw, the Raw After Mania challenge Roman Reigns for next year. If you remember the first match between The Rock and John Cena that was actually made one year before it happened at WrestleMania 28 and they made that I wanted it was the Raw after wasn't it uh, they made that match. Remember, it was built once in a lifetime. The Rock versus John Cena. One year in advance. So, of course, if they are able to get The Rock to agree to a match with Roman, they'll probably... I'm going to be surprised if they do announce it one year in advance. Take place next year at WrestleMania 40 in Philadelphia. Who knows? So that's all for this WrestleMania Sunday special episode of 360. Good morning, wrestling fans. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in right here on Spreaker or wherever you listen to 360 at. Also... I will be back tonight, right after WrestleMania Sunday, night two of the Showcase of the Immortals, the grand finale. Not making a promise. I'm not sure if I will be live or if just going to record the podcast tonight. Like I did last night, I decided kind of last minute to go live. And I may go live though, so stay tuned to the 360 Wrestling Podcast social media, Twitter at 360 Wrestling Pod, Instagram 360 Wrestling Podcast, but probably if I do post about it, probably be first on Twitter at 360 Wrestling Pod. So thank you everyone. Hope everyone has had a great week and weekend so far. Hope everyone enjoys night two tonight. Happy WrestleMania Sunday, everyone. Happy WrestleMania.